My name is Marcus Walls. I'm the owner of uh, Walls Hardcore Cycles, custom bike company. My name is Ludovic Lazaret and my firm is Lazaret. I have begun my, my shop in 1988 and I have begun to modify bike and exhaust system. My name is Roland Sands. I've been in the motorcycle industry pretty much since I was born. Um, started building motorcycles as soon as I really got a motorcycle. Since I was young, uh, I always modified uh, uh, scooters or uh, little uh, big cars. Uh, it's uh, for me a big passion. I, of course, I know the Yamaha VMAX because it is uh, worldwide a cult bike. You know, everybody knows it, and it stands out from the rest of the bikes. You know. When the Yamaha VMAX came out, and um, you know, the new bike is, you know, definitely the knob got turned up quite a bit. The new uh, VMAX was introduced, which even has more horsepower and which was uh, even more faster than the other one. I have put the VMAX at the middle of my, uh, of my shop and all, all day I turn around the bike and uh, to find the inspiration, inspiration to modify. It was really a matter of like stripping the bike down to the bare bones and figuring out how to build it back up. Um, and how to do it the best way. Uh, the most important thing, building a custom bike which is based on a VMAX is even when I modify the bike totally, the people and the audience still have immediately uh, to see that it is still a VMAX. We probably kind of de-engineered a little bit, but when it comes to custom bikes, you know, you kind of do de-engineer some things. So I would like to uh, highlight the performance of the bike you know a lot of people think it's just a heavy uh, uh, power machine i mean the engine's the biggest inspiration in that bike um, and i love the massive front end on that thing the huge six piston radial mount calipers are insane you know it's got just a lot of trick parts on it that rear shock's crazy it's like fully adjustable everything's like tweakable altogether it was harder than I expected, but not uh, the build itself, just to uh, be inside that time frame, you know. The build went well. I think we accomplished exactly what we set out to do. The paint job came out stellar. Chris Wood at Airtrex did an amazing job on the paint. From the beginning, I thought it would, a good, it would be a good idea to have the bike painted in gold, because I never saw a gold VMAX, you know. When I received the parts, that was really hard for me to imagine if that will really match the bike because the rest of the bike is silver and black, you know. I think uh, the build was very difficult because uh, we don't have so much time to, to build the bike. So it was uh, uh, jogging around the bike to finish bike time. And we got the thing to sit pretty good. It sits high, but it's a rider. Like we built a, ri a motorcycle to ride, not a motorcycle to sit and look pretty. So, you know, I think we accomplished that goal. I think uh, I would like I, I like the bike say, because uh, uh, it's aggressive that uh, I would like at the beginning of the bike and uh, lose futuristic and uh, aggressive. It, I wanted that, so I, I like the bike. Yes. It, it turned out actually the way I planned to, you know. So I'm really satisfied with the bike and, and his uh, look. Uh, maybe if we had more time, it would be a little bit more uh, radical, you know. But the most important thing, as I already said, is to uh, keep the bike uh, street legal here in Germany. We just really paid attention to aesthetically trying to make things right and a little bit cleaner, kind of a more aggressive approach to what the bike, to what I think the heart of the bike really is, is just this ultra aggressive, more race styled machine. So we went a little bit that direction and I think, I think we hit it right on the nose. The big challenge for me it was to conserve the, the feeling of the VMAX, so the intake air outside and the exhaust uh, for me uh, must have not be changed uh, of the place and uh, it was a challenge for me to, to, to keep the spirit of the VMAX. Still, also during the building process I was uh, immediately addicted and sit on the bike and uh, can't wait to, to, to ride it, you know. And when you work on the Yamaha it is just it's a pleasure to work on. They're so nice. Everything about them, the hardware is beautiful. The rubber joining, the, you can just tell that the engineering was done right with, with the entire machine.